Hello students, in the previous episode we proved the three formula of sigma n, sigma n square and sigma n cube. Today we will study the application of this formula in the problems. First of all we take a problem, find the sum of three series up to n terms whose nth term is n times n plus 1 times n plus 5. So, in this problem the nth term is given to us. So, we have T n is equal to n times n plus 1 times n plus 5 which equals n cube plus 6 n square plus 5 n. We have to find S n. S n is sigma T n that is sigma n cube plus 6 sigma n square plus 5 sigma n. From the formula we already know sigma n cube is n times n plus 1 by 2 whole square plus sigma n square is n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 upon 6 plus sigma n is 5 times n times n plus 1 by 2 which equals n square times n plus 1 square upon 4 plus n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 plus 5 by 2 n times n plus 1. This equals n plus 1 common 4 also common you get n square times n plus 1 plus n times 2 n plus 1 plus 10 times n that is n plus 1 upon 4 n cube plus n square plus 8 n square plus 4 n plus 10 n that equals n plus 1 by 4 n cube plus 9 n square plus 14 n which equals n times n plus 1 by 4 times n square plus 9 n plus 14 which equals ultimately n times n plus 1 by 4 times n plus 2 times n plus 7. This equals n square times n plus 1 whole square by 4 plus n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 plus 5 by 2 times n times n plus 1. Now, n plus 4 1 upon 4 is common. So, we get n square times n plus 1, 4n times 2n plus 1, then 10 times n equals n plus 1 by 4, n cube plus n square plus 8n square plus 4n plus 10n equals n plus 1 by 4, n cube plus 9n square plus 14n that equals n times n plus 1 by 4 n square plus 9 n plus 14 which equals n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 7 upon 4. Now, this gives the final answer for the sum of the given series. Now, we take up another problem. Find the sum of the series 3 times 1 square plus 5 times 2 square and so on up to n terms. Now, this question differs from previous question in the sense in this question the nth term is not given to you. So, first of all you find nth term. By mere observation we find that nth term is given by T n is equal to 2 n plus 1 times n square. Hence, 
S n will be sigma T n equal to sigma of 2 n plus 1 times n square which equals sigma 2 n cube plus n square which equals 2 sigma n cube plus sigma n square. We know the value of sigma n cube. So, we get 2 times n n plus 1 by 2 whole square plus n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 over 6. This equals 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 3 times n times n plus 1 plus 2 n plus 1. This equals 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 times 3 n square plus 3 n plus 2 n plus 1 that is 1 by 6 n times n plus 1 3 n square plus 5 n plus 1. Now, this gives the sum of the n terms of the given series. Recall in this question we have to first find the n -th term and then we apply the sigma notations. The next problem is find the sum of the series 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on up to n terms. Here again the n -th term is not given. Moreover, here the n -th term itself is a series. For instance, here T n is 1 square plus 2 square and so on n square. So, the n -th term itself is sum of some other series. So, we first find the sum and we know the sum already that is n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 upon 6. Now, this is value of T n. We want S n. S n is sigma of T n that is 1 by 6 sigma of n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 which equals 1 by 6 times sigma 2 n square cube plus 3 n square plus n which equals 1 by 6 times 2 times sigma n cube plus 3 times sigma n square plus sigma n. This equals 1 by 6 2 times n times n plus 1 by 2 whole square plus 3 times n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 over 6 plus n times n plus 1 by 2. Now, throughout this we have n times n plus 1 by 2 common. So, it becomes 1 by 12 n times n plus 1. We have 1 by 2 n times n plus 1 plus 2 n plus 1 plus 1. This equals 1 upon 6 times sigma of 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus n which equals 1 by 6 times 2 times n n plus 1 by 2 whole square 
plus 3 times n n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 by 6 plus n times n plus 1 by 2. This equals 1 upon 12 n times n plus 1 n times n plus 1 plus 2 n plus 1 plus 1 which equals n times n plus 1 by 12 times n square plus 3 n plus 2 which equals n times n plus 1 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 over 12 that equals n times n plus 2 times n plus 1 square by 12. This is sum of the given series. Now, we have one more problem of different type. We have the question to find the sum up to n terms of the series 3 plus 7 plus 13 and so on. In this problem, the difficulty is the nth term is not seen e easily. So, we have to first find out nth term with some trick. We assume S n that is the sum of n terms to be 3 plus 7 plus 13 plus 21 and so on and because we do not know the nth term we write it as T n. Now, we subtract the same thing from S n with a slight shifting the terms. So, our 3 comes underneath 7, 7 come underneath 13 and so on. When we subtract this we get 0 is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 6 and so on up to n minus 1 terms minus T n. Now, the terms inside the brackets is an AP starting from 4 with a common difference of 6 and there are n minus 1 terms there. So, it becomes T n is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 by 2, 2 times first term plus n minus 2 times 2. This equals 3 plus n minus 1 by 2 inside 8 plus 2 n minus 4, which equals 3 plus n minus 1 by 2 times 4 plus 2 n that is 3 plus n minus 1 times 2 plus n that equals 3 plus n square plus n minus 2 that is n square plus n plus 1. This gives the sum of n terms of the given series. So, we found that sometimes T n is not given sometimes T n can be found immediately and sometimes it takes some time to find T n, but once we have found T n it is very easy to find S n using the three formulae. Dear students, today we have completed the unit on sequence and series. In our five episodes we have first discussed what is sequence and series, then we worked out formulae for A p and G p and later on we found that there are some series which can not be covered by A p and G p. So, we took some problems some more formulae we derived namely sigma n sigma n square sigma n cube with the help of these three formulae we could attack almost all the problems involving series and we found that at times we could not get the value of n -th term directly. So, we have to work out the n -th term separately and later on we applied the formula of sigma n, sigma n cube, sigma n square etcetera. This way we can attack any problem of sequence and series prescribed in your syllabus. Thank you.